Uh, hopefully everybody got outside and enjoyed that sunshine the past couple of days because winter is back with an vengeance. Let's take it into that microclimate forecast on this Monday and check it out. That system we've been mentioning for the past couple of days. Uh, this is what's going to change it up for us. It's basically a uh, one large storm in the upper atmosphere that's going to linger here from Tuesday right through about Saturday. So wind picking up rain chance low California snow. Also some very cold temperatures. So let's go ahead and get it right into tomorrow morning's forecast and you can see it here. We're going to drop down here into the low 40s. Some clouds increase wind begins to pick up uh, numbers don't really vary a whole lot across the Bay Area. So we'll begin here with 40 over the North Bay, San Francisco 43 East Bay right there at 40. So let me take you into the wind because I think that's the biggest thing tomorrow we are going to be dealing with uh, for the morning. It's calm here in San Jose. Not too bad for the East Bay or the peninsula, but look at the immediate coastline and the North Bay. That's where winds are going to be gusting 20 to 50 miles per hour. Then watch this through the afternoon. This is where we could get into some power outages here. 30 to 50 miles per hour widespread through the Bay Area. So some dangerous gusts tomorrow afternoon and evening. I do see it trying to at least drop off a little bit right here by Wednesday morning, but we're really going to have to wait until Wednesday evening uh, to start to see a lot of this beginning to calm down and then by Thursday winds will be a lot less. So tomorrow certainly blustery numbers dropping off four to eight degrees. So this is going to put us back to 58 with that wind kicking up. Uh, not only is it going to be cold out there, we need that heavier jacket at times, uh, but if you have any allergies, that pollen is just going to be horrendous. 61 here in Concord, 57 in San Jose and low to mid fifties right here at the coastline. Okay, how about those rain chances? I only see a spotty chance as we head through Wednesday morning, but by Wednesday afternoon, Wednesday evening, you're going to see right here. We begin to get in on some scattered rain. Notice the white and the pink. That's uh, the pink is a rain snow mix. The white is snow. So Mount Hamilton mountains to the north would be getting in on some low snow starting Wednesday night. Now here's where it gets interesting. As we head through Thursday morning, we could see a rain snow mix maybe at about uh, 500 feet, possibly lower, uh, especially here through parts of the North Bay uh, areas in the East Bay and then right there at the coastline. Overall snow levels at about 1000 feet. But again, a rain snow mix 500 feet and lower even as we head right here into Friday morning. I think Friday morning would be the best chance, especially up to the North Bay uh, to get in on some of that low snow. Then as we head into Saturday's forecast, we'll try to see this thing spin on out of here, but we're still hanging on to some spotty showers. So rainfall totals with this a half to one inch. Uh, best bet there of that one inch would be over the Santa Cruz Mountains. And we talked about that low snow. That's going to get any kind of large headlines if we see even a few flakes uh, down to some of the lower elevations. But I wanted to show you the last significant snow where we saw one inch was back on February 5th, 1976. That was snow down at sea level right on the valley floor. Right now it doesn't look like that, but of course we've got our eyes open and we're going to continue to monitor that. So again, rain chances picking up Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. Just a spotty chance for the weekend and then another storm as we roll through next Monday. I've got more looks of this coming up Even at 530 week. Yes, it is winter still. <laughs> <laughs> that was that's Jeff's version of telling me not to complain. <laughs> <laughs> nice All right, thank you. Maybe. <laughs>